MPs, yeah. including uh, Ricketts Hagan, who says this is an embarrassment that they have caused themselves. Should they see it that way as an embarrassment? Um, some say, why? Um, some say the change in leadership of the NDC in parliament, uh, which you know came with its own problems because of the lack of consensus, is partly to blame and that this leadership too is not as strong as the Haruna-led leadership. But some say, why? Even uh, Chairman Sabonsu, a Colossus like him, couldn't win a speaker you know, vote for the NPP. So what are you talking about? Why should they see this as, as an embarrassment? Well, I'm, I'm not sure it comes down to the new leadership, or we can blame the new leadership for that. Because the, the NDC gurus were in parliament, the chairman and all those people. So if the party had made a decision that this is the line you should tow and they don't tow it, then um, if any blame at all should be laid on the leadership, it should start from the national chairman and right down to uh, members of parliament who are in leadership positions in parliament. But I think that at the end of the day, it comes down to individual choices. And um, it's a question of how the MPs can look at the bigger picture, not just their personal interests or even the interests of the party, but the interests of the country as a whole. I think that um, they have they have made a, they made a good point about the fact that there are some positions that can be aligned or there are some positions that can be cut and some money saved in order to help even strengthen the governance system in the country and also save some money for the country. So these are the um, issues that I think should have influenced the outcome of the vote, but unfortunately it didn't go that way. And 